cutting out some more spots. That looks bad. Got some swollen, rusted uh, steel strip behind there. Needs to be like painted like the wall. I can't really wipe that down. So let's uh, scrape dust this out and. Just we'll have to make a couple more patches and seal up those spots. Air purifier just went orange. Must be smelling something. Just out of this. Let's get the brush and I guess that's one way. Yeah, I remember why this is bent now. It's because I was trying to yank down the old cabinet. Didn't come out very easy. Supposed to get down into the teens tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and stock up on water. Get my tanks drained before it gets too cold. Supposed to be getting down into the teens tonight. It's got the little space heater down below. Running on a separate extension cord to a different circuits. So we're not overloading things. We'll also
also help it dry out in there since it's got a lot of water in this cabinet for some reason. Just filled the er, dump tanks and filled the holding water tank. That usually spills a bunch of water in there, especially since I forgot to keep an eye on it and it overfilled a little bit. that in a little over a month. Don't think I have too much, maybe I got at least one can of diesel. Not enough. Uh, this cold spell has been going for at least a week, I think. I'm going to break. This thing open before it freezes shut completely. Pretty cold out. It's at 32 degrees in the generator cabinet. It might be a little warmer than it actually is. It feels uh, a lot colder than 32. Um, that feels completely cold. Which is good. That's completely empty. So we might be okay. I think I can get a week out of that. We we'll keep it on low and supplement with the electric heater. Got pretty cold up in there without both the electrics going. And the propane furnace is still not in operation. It started once. It worked one more time. I was checking it on and off and it actually clicked and fired up and I was like, yeah, it's working again. And then that was it. I've checked it a few more times since. And no go. Walls are looking pretty poor. Warping everywhere. This is an old warp. Hatch is still looking good. That's good to see. Makes me happy. Uh, but it, uh, there is other spots that are getting worse, especially over at the bedroom. It's really bad. I already showed you guys. previous video but uh, there's a water getting in through this window I think put a paper towel here to help wick water up and out of the window little tray there whatever you call that place where it collects water so yeah wicking that out of there so yeah water I think is getting in at the top of the window getting in through the wall and yeah this is Probably the worst spot on the RV. We'll take that window out, put a vent in there. Both sides. The other side of the bedroom is actually pretty decent. It is freaking cold. Still uh, working away a little bit at a time with the black mold. Got this front thing all done, which feels awesome. I love it. Turned out great. Sealed that up so I don't have any more moisture collecting in there. Because that was pretty much wet all the time. That shut off for the first time today because of it being too cold, so I brought this up front instead of being in my bedroom. Which prompted the diesel heater start up. And a health update. I was feeling pretty poor. 
the last month or so and things are actually feeling a lot better. My throat has stopped hurting. I still have like flare-ups from... Well, I haven't had a flare-up in a while. It's great. It, it, it would like kind of heal and it would flare up. It hurt again. Still not sleeping too good, but that's just because I'm busy. A lot, of, lot to do. I'm not done with this yet. Still in the middle of that project video, so I got a little more to do on that. Insulate. Things are going good. We're going to get done on patches, everything I can before we go find a base camp to start really tearing in and fixing things. Just a bunch of patchwork until then. That turned out good though, I like that. So, finish that up. Many more projects to come. Undecided if I'm going to paint this or just stain it because I really like the pattern on it. Really cool. Um, but yeah, either paint or stain. You guys let me know what you think. I think that would be cool stain, but paint would uh, help hide a lot of the imperfections. I think, you know, it helps fill in. And I think I might just paint. Stain seems kind of messy and it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know. Comment below. Stain or paint.